Okay, so this is just going to be a, a fun little video, little how-to and exploration of a bunch of different ways to get out of bounds in different places in this silly little game. Uh, so, first and foremost, well, first and foremost, we need to do this. I'm so sick of these voice lines. Um, first and foremost, there will be spoilers for the entire game here. Um, this is, this current save is after completing 100% of everything, so if you haven't finished the game and you don't want spoilers, I would recommend finishing the game first. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this game a lot. It's, you know, it's kind of rough around the edges. There's a few annoying things, like those incessant, just idle chatter lines that there's like four of them per area and they repeat themselves every 30 seconds. Uh, but on the whole, I just really enjoy the vibes of the whole thing. Um, and I love how the world is just so huge and not really empty. It kind of feels empty at the start. The demo definitely didn't sell it very well. Um, but there's a lot of variety in the environments and, uh, it can be fun to go out of bounds and see what's out there. Um, fair warning, none of this is useful in any way as far as the game goes. You can't sequence break basically anything from what I've found um, just because of how the quest progression system works. There's no flags you can set early or anything like that. Um, there's like one uh, radio tower you can activate early. I won't really even be able to show that because I don't have a save that early anymore, but um, I do have a, a uncommentated video on my channel that shows that, but even that is pretty useless. It lets you get, um, I don't think it even lets you get a, a trophy early or anything. What was that? That's weird. I've not actually seen that. This is blocked off yeah, that must be another bug. So, yeah, there is, there's a lot of little, little kind of seams, cracks in the seams, whatever, that you can accidentally find. And that's supposed to be blocked off earlier in the game. And then it opens up about halfway through when you reach the, what the climax of the movie and the manga is. Um, and apparently they forgot to <laughs> remove one of the just display triggers there. But anyway, to get started, um, let's go and do the first big one I found. So we're going to warp here to this water point, and I'm going to get on my hover jet. Um, I should say prerequisites, you, your loadout you'll want to have uh, for this. You'll want to have battle armor with AN drive um, and, you know, as fast engine and legs as you can and then you'll definitely want a hover jet with as fast of parts as you can. I'm pretty sure this setup here is the absolute fastest uh, including boost that it can go. These are the two best uh, speed wise engine and suspension parts and then hover thruster gives you a boost boost. You get two speed booster chips and then if you put on the original blinkers these original uh, non-functional secondary weapons for all the vehicles give you a tiny bit of extra speed and that will come in handy for some stuff we will see coming up but for now let's go ahead down and drop into the river here and you'll also want the hover thruster for the hover jet just because it makes a lot of this much easier to do and so for most of this, I'm just going to kind of show how to initially get out um, and then for the most part, leave the exploration uh, at a minimum so that you can go and enjoy that yourself if you want. Um, but I will show some of the more, more tricky parts to pull off, find a way through the invisible walls, and also just some of the cool cool places I've been able to get to. Not all of them, but I'll, I'll go through a few. 
Okay, so we get out here, and so the space, the, the, the path ends just up here a little more. I don't want to accidentally crash and uh, get knocked off my bike, but right up here somewhere. Yeah, right, so right here is the furthest you can go in the river. So if you get to that point, turn around a little bit and come right here. We're going to turn on our hover thruster. Hover out here. Let me try again here. You can change vehicles even right here, but it's a little safer if you get further up, I think. Ah, I'll just go right here. Okay, so we're going to switch to our jump bot. You also want a, um, either a jump bot or a hopper. I think the hopper works better. I'm just going to save here so that if I fall in the water, I don't get knocked back to the fast travel point. So you can jump up here and then up here to the left and then a little further up. Yeah, so that jump's a little tricky. So I'll have to load my save and try again here. Um, if that kind of thing keeps happening, I'll fast forward through them as they happen. But I've done most of these a few times, so I should be able to pull most of them off fairly easily. Just a little tough. Okay, so we're over here now. Let's just save again to be safe because this next jump is a little tricky too. This is the, really the last. Oh, there's one more kind of tricky jump, but there we go. So now we are up here and out of bounds. And let's save one more time for good measure. And so we're now in most of this kind of from like here up through uh, some of this is accessible. So all of this and then like all of this and then down here, that's all well, down here. That's all out of bounds. Now some of this I'll just uh, exhibit here. If I try to go directly this way. Uh, for too far it's just gonna reset me there are weird little spots like that uh, that you kind of just have to feel out um, some of them sometimes you'll run into like the bottom of the fall damage barrier so like if there's what's intended to be bottomless pits you know they'll put a point a certain way down the pit that uh, you hit that you take damage and respawn uh, back where you were. Um, and sometimes you can get under those, and then if you jump up, you run into them and get damaged and reset. And then some are just, they don't damage you, they just silently <laughs> respawn you. Uh, those are more rare, but you'll run into those as well. So we're going to want to go down through this canyon and out to here. If you try to get too close to either of these mountains that we're going in between, uh, you'll take damage and get respawned. But if you make your way down into this canyon, you're safe because you're under all of that. So we'll uh, wind our way through here. This is going to kind of be the longest segment because there's a couple different spots where, like right now, obviously, the path forward is very clear and easy for the most part. Um, right here you have to go up this little uh, big hill, which I think you can do. Yeah, if you go up on the right side here, you don't have to get out of your hover jet. But yeah, there's a couple spots that it's not immediately apparent how to proceed. Uh, and the first of those is right here, this hill is just a little too steep. There's no footholds past about here, and even your hopper with a charge jump cannot quite make it up there. But if we come back over here, use our hopper to climb up these rocks, and then we can keep going up. Yeah, we have to go up this way a little bit more, and then wind back around. 
and some of this takes a little trial and error. So bear with me here. I thought I turned my, uh, I did turn that off. I guess that, oh, that's just the, in the top right is what it turns off. It doesn't turn off everything else. That's okay. Okay, let me try a couple time, more times to get up here. This part is a little annoying. I spent hours upon hours of just doing this everywhere with the uh, hopper, just trying to find ways to get up mountains. So yeah, we can land right there, and then up further, and up further, and we keep going. And so now we can make our way along here and fall down again. Try that one more time. I'll save next time I get that far just to expedite things. Here, and then right here, up here, up here, oh, almost done. up here, and let's go ahead and save just in case. I recommend doing this a lot because it can be really annoying to have to restart some of these jump sequences. Okay, so we can come right here, and then I think, yeah, so from there to there, and then we can get here. And at this point, you're going to want to get off of your hopper and just do a little jump as Beelzebub to here. And then I think the easiest way, let's say it again, I think the easiest way is to get back on the hopper now. Because you want to get one more ledge forward. Yeah, so we want to get here. So once you are here, you're going to switch to your hover jet. And I'll save again just in case I miss this. This is pretty easy, though, once you're up here. Um, so this is what the hover jet is great for, is you boost and you hover more or less for a little bit. And so now we're past that obstacle. Um, and we can see this weird spike coming out of the ground here. And there's, there's a little hole in the world next to it. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it too much. And we'll continue. And now we're going to want to go this way. So now we are in this big, open, almost lake area. That, of course, you normally can't get to. If you try to go near that mountain any over there, you will immediately get respawned. So let's go ahead and use our hover thruster, get out of here, and save again. And I would skip ahead at this point, but there's one more thing, one more kind of difficult point. And so now we're all the way over here, so we're about out of bounds on the west side of the map. And when I was originally doing this, my goal was, let's try to get down here. I wanted to see this area. And as you may see, I was definitely able to do that. And so to get down there, we're gonna wanna climb up this mountain to the west. So I think I need to get like right up here. Uh, let's actually go from here. I did not re-practice this one small part, but I think, yeah, you can get up there, and then from there to the right, and then up. And there are plenty of uh, different paths you can take. Oh, that mountain's not real. Oopsie. Yeah, you'll find that a lot of this terrain uh, ends up not being actually there, and you just kind of go right through it. But some of it is real. Uh, so let's go jump out again. And basically we want to get as far west as we can. And that involves getting over some of these mountains. And I think the easiest way to do it is just right here. Let's go. And so we want to be right here. And I think we can get up to that. Possibly... Oh, right. I think we go actually this way. 
bear with me as I feel this out. Oh, I think right here, actually. This should, nope, I was wrong. Let's go back into this rock. Okay, that's not what we want. We don't want to fall further down. I really thought it was just right up here you could get there, but it seems I was wrong. All right, let's go a little further down to the north, find a better place to climb up. Possibly right here. Keep going. And that's not real. Let's check further north. I remember last time I redid this, I kind of struggled to find the good spot. I think it's right here. This is a good spot. Usually if you see, you know, the, the color that's intended to be ground on top of the land texture, there's somewhere on there that you can get a foothold on. So I think if we go right here, maybe. Let's try one more time. No, further down. Maybe up here. Ah, let's just keep going this way. Yeah, I also recommend if you're doing these kinds of explorations, don't get too focused on like, oh, I can almost make the jump in this one spot. Because usually you'll find if you go just like a few feet down one way or the other, there's a much easier way to get up somewhere. And yeah, as we can see here, this is no problem to make it up here. And I think that's the last of the obstacles. We've kind of reached the peak here. But be careful, because that's the edge of the map, and we don't want to fall off the edge of the map, because then you'll fall until you reach the bottom of the map and then get respawned. Um, I think generally the last, like, fast travel place you were at, uh, which can be interesting and useful. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll go up here. So yeah, definitely be careful around the edges of the map. Sometimes what looks like an edge of the map isn't actually, or there, there'll be like some terrain on top of it that allows you to go further. And that's fun to explore too. Yeah, let's go back this way, carefully. I loaded up one of my really early saves a little bit ago and got on my motorcycle from early in the game and I was like oh my god this is so slow compared to the hover jet and so we do have to I think go actually a little, out, little bit out of the map here let me save again just in case I fall okay I think we can go up here and then Possibly even this way. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to fall too far down. I think I can make that jump, though. Let's go back. Okay, I can definitely make up there. And then <clears throat> here. And then if I want to get... Not that. One more time. Up there? No? Okay, let's go look somewhere else. 
I know there is a good way to get up, up and south because we're trying to make our way south at this point. I wish I could turn those <laughs> subtitles off, but it doesn't seem like there's any way to, which is kind of surprising. Oh no. Well, we fell all the way down here, not off the edge of the map. Let me just see if there's a good way around. This kind of feels familiar, so this might actually have been what I did. Can I land here? Sure can't. Can I continue? Mm, not looking good. And yeah, now we're done. Let's go ahead and load our save again. Should have practiced this part. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. It was just right there. Just had to go right there. And so here, just to, to look at where that is. Right at the edge of the map, which you really can't even see it on the pause screen anymore, but at the edge of the map, um, at the edge of that section of the hill. And then I think I can just go ahead and click here, uh, further down a little bit. So now we're off the map a tiny bit, but since these mountains are here, we're safe. And I think that is the last bit of climbing we have to do to get out of kind of this area. And we're trying to get down here, basically where the terrain is pretty significantly different. It, it's, it's really interesting what, what drew me to do all this out of bounds exploration is just how much terrain um, is mapped out and unique and uh, just, why did they spend so much time making all these like mountains and stuff that you can go to you're not supposed to be able to go to but you can go to and hop around on and um most of this is not even visible you know from anywhere on the map except as a very very tiny bit in the distance but yeah we're kind of leaving the mountains now heading straight south which will continue for a little bit big open desert plain now. I did try to climb up on top of the battleship there. Unfortunately, most of the mountains, rocks around that are not real uh, after a certain point up. So there was no way to get all the way to climbing on the battleship itself. You can get about halfway to it. Halfway, two-thirds of the way to it, but not actually on top of it, from what I've found, at least. And I guess I should mention I'm playing this on PS5. I'm sure on PC you can use, like, Cheat Engine, whatever, and go wherever the hell you want, but I think it's more fun to do it without external tools. Fun to see all the pop into. Oh, that wasn't real. Be careful around here. Okay, so yeah. Oh, and yeah, here we go. Down we go. And so we're wanting to just continue south, south east, basically. But let me see here. So you can see here, we'll go over to it. For whatever reason, again, none of this is visible from anywhere. The closest you can get to this point is like right about here normally. So this all the way out here, this is not visible in any way whatsoever. But unfortunately, uh, for some reason, there's just this, this solid slab of extremely tall wall here. Um, and yeah, no, no way up that. And this is the edge of the map, so no way around it. And so this kind of valley gorge here, this just extends all the way. And I spent 
hours trying to climb up all the sides of this mountain here to find a route that had enough footholds to get to the top. And no luck, no luck, no luck. Trying all the way up and down it. And then finally, I decided to, again, go look somewhere else. See, see if we can tackle this from a different perspective and manage to figure something out. And there, you know, there could be a route up here I missed. But like, you know, I'm sure I tried going up here, but like there's always just one foothold that's like just out of reach um, is what I ran into. But let's go over here. And so we'll see these two, we got this little mountain and this big mountain here. And let's go ahead and save right now. And let's switch to our hopper and do a little climbing. So we'll use that foothold to get up here on the larger of the two mountains. And then just make our way up. It's um, there's many routes up, but you do have to be a little careful on this mountain. You're going to want to stay on the kind of southern half of it here because let me, well, I think I can get a little further up. Let's see here. Yeah, right here. That's easy foothold, that's easy foothold. Yeah, after you do this for a while, you'll start to really get a feel for spotting where you can and can't land. Should be good here, here. Should be good up here. Okay, let's save again because so now that we're up this high, if we go kind of on the north half here and try to go up too high, okay, I guess I avoided it ent entirely unintentionally, but let's see here. Yeah, so the death barrier exists kind of along the north half of that mountain. It's really convenient to actually keep your vehicles at like one hp because then um you get respawned at a game over wherever you last saved whereas if you don't game over if you just take damage but don't die then you get respawned at like your last fast travel point but yeah so what we're gonna want to do is get up top of this highest peak here so right here and let's save again just for good measure and so this was this was a fun little bit when i was uh, working on this so what we're gonna do so i have like i said the most decked out hover jet possible and so it's at max speed and we're just gonna boost and cross that gap and now we're up here when I first got here, my hover jet was like just barely not fast enough. So I had to set down a travel beacon, go and farm better parts, and then come back with the better parts for just that tiny bit of speed boost that I needed to be able to clear that gap. And so once you've cleared that gap, this whole area is very easily explorable. So we'll kind of skip past that. I think it's pretty easy to find your way around this whole section of the map. Let's just go where I've got my travel beacon set here. And we are at the big dam in the Sandland Army Base. I'm not supposed to be able to get here normally. Um, it's very fun just exploring around like under this building and stuff and 
also just being able to go zoom around this huge lake. I was just in, in the course of just playing the game um, and getting to this point. <laughs> It was uh, getting to, you know, the, the story point where you blow open the dam and stuff. It was very frustrating not being able to go out here. So it's very cool to sneak your way around and get here. Do be careful because these waterfalls, that water down there, I'm not going to go down there, but that water is not real. There's land under it so you can go down there. But yeah, if you go down there, you will... Uh, not be able to wake it, make your way back up easily and that's that's why i put my travel beacon there because it's one of the more convoluted this is one of the more convoluted sections of the map to get to um and it's a cool place and for some reason down here the the land the level of ground just kind of kind of goes up um but if we go back this way a little bit, let's, oops, oh, that works. Now we're up here, we can go. I won't spend too much time running around this area because you can explore it at your own pace if you decide to do so. But I like, I like coming up and hanging out at the top of this waterfall here. There's uh there's like a, and is it, is it still a sandbar if it's the top of a waterfall? This little bit here, I think you can, yeah, you can take your vehicle through because the water level is actually down here. And you can swim it across and emerge again. And yeah, so from here you can, you can go all the way to the bottom left of the map and you can continue east a pretty significant amount but there is a point um, somewhere around here that it kind of gets impassable but let's look at our next place to get out of bounds the rest will be uh, pretty quick overviews for the most part so yeah you want to come to this water supply point and head just east of the uh, Geji Dragon Den there to this big sandfall here. That's kind of the southeastern edge of the map almost. And so we can just hover over this quicksand here, land on these rocks, and switch to our hopper. Let's save again, just in case I mess this up. This one's very easy. This one I stumbled upon the, the entirely by accident. It took me like two minutes to figure this out. So you just drop down right there behind the sandfall, hop up here, come through, hop again, switch back to your hover jet for the quicksand, then back to hopper up and we're out there is some weird invisible wall stuff around here that you kind of have to make your way around a little bit but it's not too hard so there's like that but i think if you go up this way yeah you can just get right past it and so then you can explore from here all the way to the corner up to uh, somewhere around here, somewhere on the east side. And it's a lot of dunes and really big dunes out in this area. Some mountains and stuff. Um, from here, from this area, you can uh, kind of wind your way, I think, down this way and get onto the upper rim of the Peachy Village, the legendary spring. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of invisible walls around here, but you can look down on it from above, and that is all actually contained in there. I at first, since there's just that one tunnel to get into it, I at first wondered if it was not actually there and it was transporting you somewhere else, but nope, it's all right in there. 
And so that gets you all kind of this area of the map. And then there's another roadblock somewhere around there. But this is the one of the funniest ones to me. And we'll warp to the entrance of the royal capital. Head straight east until we get to where it wants us to stop. And you want to stay kind of parallel with the capital straight east and go yeah and so then head south and hug this invisible wall here and after you crest this hill after you reach the bottom of it really right about here a little further going keep going and the wall's gone there's just a gap there <laughs> i don't know why but there is um and so this lets you explore you can go from here all the way north and all the way west to about here um and I can't remember if there's something that actually prevents you from going over the river up here where it ends. Um, so you might also be able to just go that first way we went and go up far north and then east to get in this section. But if you want to do stuff over here, um, it's a lot easier to just slip through that little hole. Um, and there is there's two other things I want to show having gotten out here and so let's make our way north and you'll find that a lot of those dunes you can just <clears throat> very easily zoom up so i spent a lot of time <clears throat> around here up on those uh this kind of wall of mountains here trying to get in to the normally inaccessible areas of the capital but there's a lot of invisible walls there and could not figure out a way to do it to be continued but let's go up here north come all the way out to the edge of the map and then go straight north this wall here this hill looks pretty impassable but nope you can just zoom right on up it very easily and so then we get to the river here and we're gonna cross it just like this and so now that we've crossed it we can continue you know north and eventually west as much as we want but if you turn right and come down here there's this nifty little convenient hole in the rocks that leads to this I mean, it's just the end of the river. It just extends out past the edge of the map for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, it's definitely very interesting to see just the flat-edged plain of river. And this actually... Oh, that was the map loading in. It lagged for a second. This actually continues. So this is the riverbed. This is alongside the riverbed. And the water continues way down here. There's a, eventually a point where you can't keep following it anymore, but you can go under the ground all the way down here. And um, if you go around here and play around in the mountains, you can also get up and out into this out-of-bounds area here. And that's also fun to play around in, but we're not going to do that. Oh, there's the, uh, is that the moon? But yeah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go. We're going to go fall out of bounds. And I hope this works how I expect it to. I didn't do this exactly the way I did it before. But hopefully, if all works right. Oh. Okay, so I screwed it up. So let's do it again. If you cross to another region, it sets that as your respawn point if you go if you hit the bottom of the world so let's warp back to the capital and let's just go out of bounds again real quick 
taking care not to cross into another region this time. This is just taking on it. Did I um, make a save? I'm not sure where that was, so I'm not going to trust it. It's only going to take a minute. Yeah, I know. You don't want me to go that way. It's going. It's, it's like, yeah, it's at the bottom of this smaller hill. I think. Yeah, there's like. There's, it's like a little weird maze kind of of kind of uh I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. I'll heal. Cuz I don't need to have a death respawn to help me right now. Yeah, these are the these are the abilities I keep equipped. They seem to be in general, the most useful. I don't actually use Fuel Saver at all, really, but I did for a little while. Okay, let's try this again. So again, so we fast traveled to the entrance gate of the capital, and now we're going out of bounds. And we will make our way out to the edge of the map. Let's navigate these dunes. And so I'm just going to do it like this. I don't know that you have to specifically do this. But this is how I usually do it, and it seemed to work. It's always fun to see everything from below here. So wait to get respawned. Fingers crossed this works and I don't look dumb. Didn't work right. Okay, I'm going to try one. Oh, God. That wasn't quite what I expected. Let me try one more time. I'll try going the exact spot that I had been going to. I'll explain after what's going on. I just don't want to ruin the surprise. Out we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go all the way over here. Can I cross to this dune from this side? Not really. Let's go back. It's very strange how some of these dunes and hills are just like very easily traversable and others are not. So I'm going to go all the way up here. I think this is what I had been doing. I was like, hit that and then do that. So this way, I guess. Fingers crossed this works. If not, then I'll just explain it. Aha! Okay, so we have respawned at the entrance to town, but town is not here. <laughs> so let's go, let's see here. I'm gonna save now just in case. But basically what you wanna do is get in here, get to a segment of town you're not supposed to be in Keep going. And of course you can't can't get on a vehicle while you're in town. And if you just keep walking, eventually town will load in, which I actually didn't know. I had been saving and then reloading and town would load in. But yeah, it will load in around you and as long as you're somewhere outside of the expected zone, then you get to explore all of this out of bounds section of the capital. And we'll just take a quick peek around here. Most of these 
buildings, not real. Got some of mine, is this one real? Nope. Let's see where we are, let's go east. There's the wall, these walls, for whatever reason, are real, but these doors sure aren't. And so you can explore all these areas that normally you can only see very briefly from afar. And also, you'll notice there are some weird spots where it doesn't count as town. And so you can get on a vehicle. And so I can, like, get on my hopper and hop up on top of this wall. And it acts really weirdly because, okay, so now, oh, now we're out of town. Or, yeah. But if I go somewhere that's in town. Yeah, it's like along these walls. But only some of them. Let me see if I can find a spot where it happens. Let's see here. Let's go over here. Okay, so we're on this wall. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, if I go, like, here. Okay, so I just made me go. Anyway, if you, if you jump with the bot and land on a wall that's in town, it'll keep you on the bot, but you can't jump anymore. You can't do anything. You can't get off of it. You can just walk. And so until you land on the actual ground, it won't make you get off. It's really weird. But, yeah, okay, so that... I'll leave the exploration of the town to you if you want. And then I think there's just one more cool thing to look at here in Sandland. And we're gonna go here, I want to say. Yes. We have to go here and then climb and it's really annoying. But there's no no real better fast travel point. So I have a, I have a video um, already up exploring this one but i just want to cover it briefly it's the really the first one i found and was completely unintentional i was trying to sneak my way to some treasure or something that i wasn't supposed to get to yet if we come up here okay so we're up here now and let's Get into our hover jet, head east. And you don't actually even need a hover jet for this one. You can do it with just a jump bot, but it's a lot easier with the hover jet. We're gonna come out here, right here, switch to hopper, and start hopping our way along this wall. I think we're technically out of bounds already at this point. Um, they just didn't really put I mean, I guess if they didn't put any invisible walls here, then it's not out of bounds. But, yeah, so we come just along this mountainside, and then right here, there's a little entrance. That's the, that's the quicksand, and we're going under it. Be careful. There are some spots where if you jump under it, you'll end up above it, and you'll die. But if we come here, it's a little tricky of a jump. So we go right here and then jump. Now we are just under it. Here you can jump. It's just a solid ceiling above you. And this is a... You can explore all of this whole quicksand area. Um, sorry, I had a brain fart. Under the quicksand is the rest of the words of that sentence. Uh, and I want to show... Just one more thing over here. Unfortunately, because the ceiling is so low for a good chunk of this, you can't actually get on any vehicles. Like, you can get on your bike, but it won't go. It'll just, it'll just get stuck here. And, like, same with your hover jet. You get this nice, really, uh, really good view here of it just stuck in place. 
But yeah, this is also really interesting and cool to explore. And it, since you do have to walk, it is a little slow to do so. But once we get a little bit of a ways out here, we still can only do a single jump. Once we get to the point where we can like finish one full jump and start a second jump, can we do this yet? Sort of. I'm going to go a bit further so that doesn't just keep happening. Uh, let's try now. All right, now we're good. The, it is really hard to see because of the camera angle, but once you get that far in, you're more or less good. Sort of. I'll try one more time, see if that happens again. I won't boost for a little bit. Okay. Let's just walk. I'll switch to the bike. Actually, I meant to switch to the bike. Okay, bike is still just stuck. I think once you get on the other side of this, under this bridge, then it's pretty flirt free and clear. And we'll just walk over there. Nice, nice floating rock. All right, let's try now. There we go. So yeah, you gotta, if you tilt the camera way up, or down I guess that is, then it's a little easier to see, but it is really annoying. But we're gonna go uh, somewhere, let's see here. I can never quite remember, somewhere right around there. Let's set a marker. It's also fun to kill enemies from below when they cannot see you or fight back whatsoever. Okay, so somewhere right around here. Let's get off the bike. It's starting to get dark, which I also hate. Is this the spot? Yes, this is the spot. Okay, so let's save again. How accurate did I get it? Pretty close. So from here, you're gonna drop down in here. You need to land on that ledge right there. So let's run and jump, jump. There we go. Easy peasy. Then you're gonna come up here. I think you can get this without, yeah, vehicle. Switch to your jump bot. And then, not that way, this corner. Jump up and over, and now you're out here. Again, all of this is completely useless and pointless, but now you can walk around. It's just, just this little triangle, um, but also another just fun little area to run around in. And yeah, I think that is basically it for the Sandland side of things. I tried, spent a while trying to get to the bottom of this bottomless pit to circumvent the death barrier but didn't have any luck same thing with like most of these up here i think you can get down in this one maybe um but that can be a fun little self-imposed challenge for you so yeah let's do this let's uh we'll go ahead and stop this video here and then we will come back and do forest land All right, let's do some forest land out of bounds exploring. This one is going to be a little shorter. There's really only, there's a fair, fair few spots you can go to, to uh, kind of get out of bounds, but there's only a couple uh, major like exits, essentially. And I just realized I never like actually walked back out of tricky camp here see what it's like out here. Is this, what's down here? This little pond, can you go down here? Let's find out. No, okay, there's just an invisible wall right there. I'm not gonna bother trying to get over that one right now. 
Um, but yeah, the main, kind of the main spot really for a lot of these is going to warp to Kilos here. Well, main spot for kind of the first half of this. So we're going to warp here, get in our hopper and come out around the left side of town. Jump around the back. Make our way along these cliffs. It's okay if you fall down a bit, it's not a huge deal because it's very easy to get back up so here and then up and so we're what we're going to want to do is basically go over here and so at this point we're out of bounds already and so we'll start making our way back up the mountain and again it's really easy to find footholds on this mountain to make your way to the top which is our goal like I said, you look for the grass, usually that'll indicate a pretty likely foothold. I think I have to go over to here. How did I do this part? Can I just go left? Okay, there. I remember this being extremely simple. I might have to go around. Do I just go around the corner more? Yeah, I think you just go around the corner more here. Okay, yeah. And then up here that up here try again there we go okay continuing up we want to reach the top of this highest peak here all right and so now we just switch to our hover jet and zoom not even gonna bother to save okay so now we are out of bounds at this point. If I try to go back, back this way, at some point it'll give me the invisible wall treatment. Somewhere. But we are definitely out of bounds. I mean, you can tell by like the, the view of the terrain and everything. And so this was the first kind of major way to get out of bounds I found in the forest land side of things but turns out there's two tiers of out of bounds for some reason they saw fit to even though we're out of bounds put an invisible barrier to keep you from getting further out of bounds for whatever reason um just more very very strange and interesting choices and interesting ways things ended up always fun to watch that stuff pop in just gonna go south a little bit more here um to show you something funny so we keep going just a little further and i can't remember if there's like a visual indicator on the map or not but right around here there we go That water's not real anymore. For whatever reason. <laughs> There's still a water texture above it, but of, above us, but it's not real anymore. <laughs> so if I, I switch to the hopper, not real. And so I got out here, and I was so mad that I could not get to that boat. Because you can see that boat way off in the distance from inbounds out here at the Dunes race course. And I so wanted to get to that boat, but I couldn't get to that boat. Fortunately, with just a little more ingenuity here, let's go all the way over to the other side of the map. And we're going to get on our hopper. And head actually we don't really want to be on the hopper I'm gonna go I think about right here I'm gonna actually get on this guy hover jet and this isn't too hard to pull off but there is kind of like an optimal spot let me see if I can find it here up around here somewhere let me actually get on my hopper if I can. Sometimes in your hover jet, you'll end up 
kind of just floating in spots that aren't actually land. They're just kind of wedged. Oops. How cool it respawned me in a good spot. So yeah, you're just actually you're just kind of wedged and you can't um can't change vehicles or anything. I think maybe from about right here. Let's try this. Get back up there and zoom. No, it might be further down. I don't remember exactly where it is. I just remember it's in this general vicinity that we can, yeah, there we go. Just zoom on off. So, you know, like right about the tip there. And so now that we're down here, we're on top of basically this like, there's that huge like kind of semi open tunnel cave sort of area and we're on the roof of it basically and so we need to make our way past that and we're trying to get let's see here i think like right here feels right let's go there just navigating there's large and small kind of pitfalls down into the cave system that of course there's no ceiling or floor to catch you, so you can easily fall down. And yeah, I think, I think that's where we want to be. Let's go do this now. We should be clear. Yeah, so you'll kind of pass through. I think this is the spades hideout here. I hid the icon on my map, so I'm not sure. But you can kind of see the top of that, which is cool. And then, yeah, let's hop on up to the top of here. I think if we go around this way, it's pretty easy. And just get kind of to this highest point. And then, I believe, I think we can just point ourselves... I think just straight northwest and zoom. And zoom. And so I believe if everything went well, we are now fully double out of bounds. And um, so if you, if you take this route from uh, Kilos and get over here, you can circle close to land all the way down to about here and then there's an invisible wall that just fully blocks it off that's like zoop zoop kind of and so now we're on the other side of that invisible wall yeah there it is but yeah we are completely unobstructed now you can sail all around pretty much um at some points you have to kind of get off and uh, hop around some mountains and stuff but you can basically make a full lap around uh, the whole map here without too much trouble and yeah i don't see any need to go too much in detail on that leave that to you to explore um i'll look at a couple fun spots we found I did try to get also on top of this battleship, but the um, there's not really any high enough, high enough but also close enough vantage point on this side to get over the tops of the invisible walls on this side, sadly. So yeah, that's yeah. This is actually going a little quicker than I thought. Um, so I may end up just making this one video behind the scenes secret i didn't actually stop recording but there is one other thing i want to look at and that is we're going to warp here and we are going to head north this one i don't know if this is the original way i got to where i'm going because i cannot remember um, but I, so I had to kind of re-hunt around for a way to do it, but I was able to easily within the span of like 15 minutes, 
which kind of goes to show how easy it is to find your way to wherever you want to go on the map or not. So we're just going to come out here, we're going to go down over to this little kind of almost land bridge here over the river and it's so easy. You can just hop here, hop. So there's invisible wall right there, but you just hop over here as you're already, you're already past it. So you just didn't extend the wall around to the back of this mountain. And so now be a little careful, but I think we can go that way. You just want to do a boost jump here to make sure you make it easy peasy. Hop up. And yeah, once you see the kind of open grassy hills here, you don't even have to worry about your hopper anymore. I'm gonna get in my hover jet, head over this way. And you'll see this kind of series of peaks here. Let me, let's see here. Hop back in my hopper in one of those spots again where I can't actually change vehicle. Might have to go Will you move? Oh my gosh, how rude. Excuse me. Yeah, if you fall down into this crevice here, it's a little annoying. Okay, we're out. Um, let, me, let me see if I can go back up. Yeah, so we can get back up. And then there's a good spot, I want to say. Let me make sure I'm where I think I am. This is not... This is not at all where I thought I was. I'm going over here. Looks very similar. So let's go where I actually wanted to go. Yeah, okay, this is what we want. See, as you can probably guess, you see the little icon there. Let's switch to our hopper. Climb up this mountain, and hey, look at that! It's the forest land capital. It's the palace. Let's just waltz right in. <laughs> I love this. Oh, yeah, we're in the capital now, so we gotta get out of our hopper. So if you come here, obviously we're at like the palace now, but we can go kind of around the outside here. All right, that's not real. You'll find that a lot of the rocks and stones in this area are not real. And so you'll end up in kind of these pits full of leaves, which is really annoying because you can't see anything, but it's not too hard to navigate your way through it. If you look at the mini map. Okay, so now we're out in front of the palace. One thing I like to do, we can actually come here and talk to Lilith through the wall. But if you go, so we can see here um, the main square that you're normally able to go to. But if you head way over on the side here, And yeah, make your way through all the bushes and trees. Okay, so now we're here. And I think if we go right here, we can do a hop. And we're over here now. And we are in the back of town. There's this bench here. I don't think you can see this from anywhere. And there's nothing else out here, but there's just this one bench sitting here. And also, I'll leave most of this exploration up to you, but I want to point, want to show you one other really weird thing. Somewhere over here. Yeah. What are you doing back here? What are you doing here? Get out of here. Can't get back into town from here. But yeah, you can, um, you can do the same thing 
uh, from the other side of town. So we're, yeah, so we went kind of around this way. You can also go around this way. Explore all of the out of bounds of the forest land capital. It's weird to me that these, the capitals of both lands don't actually have names. They're just called capital. Whereas all the other towns do have names. But yeah, that is pretty much, I mean, I didn't show the vast majority of it, but that's kind of the extent of the uh, out of bounds I've found on the forest land side. One thing I had wanted to try to do was um, get on the roof for the, the climb up the outside of uh, any of these big buildings really, but have not managed to pull that off yet. I kind of forgot about this one. Might have to try that. Let's just, let's just do one, one fun thing, one fun experiment for fun here. So if I go here, Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, nope. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay, so with that done, let's do one more thing. I forgot about one thing, actually, that I wanted to show in Sandland. Uh, so let's go here. Actually, let's, let's warp to Spino. And let's leave. So, it's really interesting. So now we're out of Spino. And it's really funny. If you try to look over the top of this gate, the game's like, uh-uh. The camera is forced all the way up and does not let you. I'm rotating the camera as much as I possibly can here, and it does not let you look behind that gate. And that made me mad. That was an injustice. So let's come to this fast travel point. And we're gonna go straight... Oh, is this west? Uh, not straight west. That's the wrong way. No. Which way am I going? I'm going here-ish. We're going to go straight northeast. We're going over over here. I already forgot. It's not here. It's over here. Yeah, it's over here. I know where it is. I just couldn't remember where it was in locate in uh it's straight north. I thought it was closer to Spino and it's totally not. But if we come right here, you can you can even see it. You can see there that there's kind of a little gap in the rocks. So let's, let's get on our hopper. And let's just, uh, let's squeeze in here. Woohoo! So this is another big open all this kind of mountain area is free to explore for you now but what we want to do is hop up here i think some of these rocks are also not real eh, no they are that was fine i spent a very long time also trying to figure out a way to get behind the spino gate i was trying to See if there was some way to fall off the bottom of the map without leaving the tort region, and I could not figure out that because I thought I could, if I could just like despawn the geometry for the gate itself when I respawn or unload the geometry for the gate itself. I thought that would uh, let me in, but could not find a way to do that. And so we want to go this way up to the left. Keep going, yeah, so we gotta go up. It's kind of like along the side of this canyon pathway here, along the outside of it. Climb up here. Again, multiple different routes will get you to this destination. This is just the one that I've 
figured out and remember. Okay, so at this point we're on top of the invisible wall here. And so this gets a little more tricky to navigate. Let me save again. So let's see, do I go up further? No, so when you get here and you hit a wall, you kind of go around the right side of it and you stay, <clears throat> excuse me, stay on top and then make your way to the right. Let me save again, just in case I fall. You basically want to kind of follow not the top of the mountain itself, but like slightly away from the top of the mountain because that's where the invisible walls are put in place. And yeah, there will be a couple spots where you drop down a little bit, but you'll land back still on the invisible wall, so it's okay. So we're going to wind around to the left now. And I think once we're at this point, we're good. I could be wrong. I think I can go left from here. I could be wrong. I may have needed to stay up there a little further, or can I make it? I might have to load up my say. Okay, yeah. So that was a little too early to drop. There's, I think there's just like a little kind of hole in the middle of the two invisible walls there. So we'll make our way back that way again. I'll see how well I can navigate it by memory. So yeah, there's two drop downs and then you wind the corner and I think you want to just kind of hug the right. I'll save again just in case. And now we're good. We're golden. So there's, there's the back side of the Spino Town Gate. But where's the town? Oh no, it's gone. So yeah, once again, completely and utterly pointless. Just to find that there's just a big empty pit here that they don't want you to see. I do like the just pre-made mountain object just rotated about 45 degrees and slapped on there. So yeah, there's nothing, nothing you can do here. You can't even get up to the gate. It would have been cool to see if it like worked from both sides or something. But there's, for some reason, an invisible wall extends behind it. You can jump up and see over it, which is kind of cool. But yeah. So I think that is now it. Covers pretty much everything. So let me look at my saves here. Now, let me actually save first, just so I can keep my playtime clout climbing. But yeah, let's see what other fun things I've got here. This was one I figured out uh, pretty much at the tail end of my explorations. So if you explored these ruins, the um, Lickgar ruins, these are, it's so weird to me that just this one ruins is like this weird, big, expansive canyon that you, they put like this, this, I don't know, ritual zone, whatever you want to call it down here that you just can't get to. And there's all these little bits that are just tantalizingly in the distance. But if I, um, I'll go to my jump bot, I'll jump. Oh, I can actually jump if I jump too high, but if I fall, it's over. But yeah, if you, um, you go like around from the outside, you get on top of that canyon and then you can just very narrowly from, there's like a ledge up there that you can glide down off of and just very narrowly land on one of these. Because if you don't, Land on it. Anything below here is death. You can't land over there. I don't think there's any footholds on there. You can just hop around between these little pillars. What else do we got? 
That's nothing. These are old saves. There might really only be one other cool thing. Yeah, I'll take a look at this real quick. Yeah, I'll look at a couple things. So this, this is the furthest down that uh, Riverside goes. It ends, the mountain juts too far over it to continue in the water, and there's this little ledge here, but there's just no way to get any further, unfortunately. I spent an hour or so trying to make my way further down that with no luck. Um, that's inside Forest Lane Capital, Forest Lane Capital, Forest Lane Capital. We can look at this. This is from when I was trying to climb the uh, Lisab battleship. So it's, it's right there. You can see it, but all of those rocks are fake. Let's see here. So you can... There's... Trying to get my bearings here. There's a single, like, kind of ring of terrain that's real. And then everything else around it is not real. You just fall right through. It is cool. If you, so I don't remember, honestly, even how I got out here. I think it was pretty easy. If you do make your way in here, you can come over here. Um, let's see where it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can put a beacon down. this so you can see the outside of some of the ruins uh, architecture there and over here somewhere up, up there let me see if I can make my way over to it I might be able to just warp to that point about oh, there it is yeah so you can see the outside of the gate to enter the battleship it's just kind of sitting there you can even get up right behind it if you hop up there and look out from the other side of the entrance so that's fun and then this this was kind of the uh Pride and joy. Well, let me see what this is first. I think this is the lead up to the pride and joy, maybe. Oh no, this is just more battleship climbing. Yeah, boring, boring, I think. Boring. Well, okay, so this this is kind of the, the crowning crown jewel. So this is the uh, what's this called? Something Masala Dig site post final boss. So, after you fight the final boss, there's a cave in up here, and you can't even re enter this area normally. But if you go out of bounds from over here and zoop your way around, you can come down here. And, um, let's see here, can we see it? About half of this area is covered in water but then it just kind of ends at a certain point um but yeah there's no ground here anymore and this whole tunnel is gone but for some reason the doors are still here you go down this series of doors um kind of right before the battleship uh flying fortress garam takes off you go through this sequence of doors and then you get down to the bottom one, and it doesn't even open. It just cuts to a cutscene. Um, and so, actually, I don't have a save that early, I don't think, or at that point. But, um, so, after you get to Forest Land, but before you get to this point in the game, um, there's, like, a fence, like, right around here that you're not supposed to be able to, that's supposed to keep you from entering this area. But you can literally just get in your hopper and hop along the side of the mountain and get over it. So you can explore this area while it's still intact before the end of the game. And you can even come down to this tunnel and come down all the doors. And this last one just 
doesn't open. Um, but yeah, after post game, it's just a smoking empty crater, but the doors are still here. And from way up there, if you have maximum power hover jet and angle it just right, and basically what I had to do was a frame perfect save because you're going like 222 kph and your hover jet can hit the top of this and basically skip off of it like you're skipping a rock but if you pause at the exact perfect time and save at the moment that your hover jet touches down on it then when you load your velocity is reset to zero and so your hover jets just landed here you can get out of it and um if you kind of like stand in different corners and then save and load, one or another of your party members will pop up on here with you. Um, again, completely and absolutely useless. You can't get up to any of the other doors. There's, they're just too, too high up and too far away from any land, at least that I have seen to be able to reach. But yeah, it's very amusing just to this this tiny 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 bit of terrain uh that you can land on just in the middle of a void um and yeah once you're once you have exited your vehicle you can't get back in one but if you like land here with your hover jet you can switch to your bike and then you can actually place a travel beacon on top of this door too if you want to which is probably the mostly useless thing you could ever do in this game but yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Let me load back to my main save so I don't accidentally overwrite it. But yeah, that, that's pretty much all of the major out-of-bounds stuff I have discovered. I have 100% completed the game otherwise. Uh, cleared absolutely everything, so I'm pretty much done playing it. Unless there's like DLC at some point or I decide to for some reason grind out max rarity parts for all vehicles or something but that doesn't sound particularly interesting at least at this point in time having played it for about 200 hours so i will leave you with uh we'll just take a little little bath here oh not quite there let me try again down if you go like to the end of the dam there's a spot you can land in that's like totally submerged but it doesn't actually count as water so it doesn't kill you I'll try one more time and if I can't get it then I'll just give up maybe down here you can go you can go down here and play in the water Splish splash around. Here, let's do this. I'll go up to the the top of the waterfall. Picturesque scenery. And cap things off there. But yeah, this this I think was is the most the coolest place to be able to get to, um, just in terms of taking in the scenery. And it's got pretty good music too. That 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 is one I guess. So there's there's the obvious complaints about this game. The kind of uh, one note gameplay loop combat is very very easy for the most part and these characters never shut the fuck up but um, I would add on to that the the soundtrack is good but it's just kind of barely there I wish there was more music and I wish it was just like a little more at the front of things because there's some some tracks that are really really good but they just don't play much or 
they only play it in the very background but i mean like i've got i've got the sound effects at 20 versus 100 for the music and they still they just barely feel tolerable but yeah let's go right here oh no, no, no. Up, up, up. oh here I'll, I'll get out of the bot get out of your car we're having a special moment here no nope. up yeah misty water splashing around his face his mech burning under the waterfall robbed of his voice because he used it too much i hope you enjoyed this and i hope if you have this game or buy this game and you want to go explore out of bounds hope this helps i think it's a lot of fun okay thank you goodbye